Hi, this is Igor, and in this video I want to explain to you how affiliate IDs and cookies work. Because we've been getting lots of questions from folks about um, what does it even mean, a cookie? You know, what does that mean as far as marketing is concerned? As well as what does an affiliate ID mean? Because some people we work with don't know what that is, why it's important to have one, and, um, you know, what it does for you in your business. So... To, just as an example, we pulled one of our client's links here. I'm just going to copy, uh, paste it into my uh, address bar, right? So, as you can see, this is the main website, which is ifsdiscount.com. And uh, there's a question mark, and then it says ID equals virtually employed AZ. Now, virtually employed AZ is, in fact, the affiliate ID. And what it does, it cookies, that's the actual term, it cookies the visitor to that particular person. So when you sign up with a business opportunity, you would usually get a link that's your own personalized link that has your own affiliate ID embedded into it. So whenever you send a person and you tell that person or you know just send out an email to your list perhaps and you, say, and, and you have people clicking on that link, anyone who clicks on that link is now cookied to you. Which means if they purchase that business opportunity or product, you will get credited with the sale. Which is important for you because that's how you get affiliate commissions. That's how you get paid. You know, that's how the system is hardwired to know that you are the one to refer the sale and not somebody else. Right? So when we talk about, uh, you know, cookies and affiliate IDs, that's what we mean. And so if I, if I click on this link, it will take me to a sales video. Okay. And now I'm I'm just going to stop it here. And I'm, going to, I'm actually hard-coded now into this person's affiliate ID. So if I decide to buy this business opportunity right now, they would get credited with the commissions for the sale. Now, in case of iPass, we know that that commission is going to be like 100% or maybe 70%. I don't quite remember. But it will depend uh, a lot on the opportunity you're promoting. So if you're promoting uh, Empower Network, you're getting 100% commission. If you're promoting uh, something like Mob, you're getting 90% commission and so on and so forth. So hopefully this video explains why affiliate IDs are important and um, why I need to keep very specific track of your affiliate IDs. Now, another thing I forgot is that some companies and some affiliate networks will hard code their affiliate IDs into uh, people's computers, which means if I clicked on this link right, you know, today, let's just say today is September 1st, and I clicked on this link and I didn't buy so I clicked on the link, I watched the video, didn't like it, didn't buy. And then, say, two weeks later, I got an email from another person with their affiliate ID, the same link, only their affiliate ID. I clicked on it again, okay? Um, I would land on the same sales video, essentially. And what's going to happen is I've been hard-coded into the previous affiliate ID, meaning that the sale, if I decide, if, you know, if I decide to buy this product, the commissions for the sale will go to the person, whose link I clicked two weeks ago, whose link I clicked on September 1st. Okay, again, just as an example, so you understand what, what does it mean to get hard-coded into the system. And a lot of systems today actually do hard-code people because um, so it happens that, you know, whenever there's a product launch, you see lots of people promoting the same thing uh, at the same time, and it's easy to get mixed up. So there's uh, something called uh, uh, commission uh, stealing, if you will, right? Where people, you know, somebody will be the first one to introduce a person to the opportunity, but then the commission for that sale will go to a different person who was the last one to mention it to the, to the prospect, right? So to prevent that, some systems hard code your affiliate IDs into the computer of the prospect, and no matter how many more links they're going to click, the sale will always go to the person whose link that prospect clicked first. I know it's a bit confusing. Um, if it is, uh, please watch this video again. And uh, basically, there's really nothing complicated about it. It's, it's really just a matter of keeping track of who referred the sale. And who usually, whoever is first to send out a link and get people hard-coded, that's the person who's going to be credited with the sale. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, this is Igor. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.